الحمد للہ رب العالمی وسلاۃ وسلام ولا اشرف المبیا ولمسلین نبی نا محمد علیہ وصحب اجمعین ربنا آمنا فقلنا ورحمنا وانت خیر الراحمین ربنا لا تزق قلوبنا بعد از ہدایتنا وحب لنا من لدنک الرحم انک انت الوہاب اللہم انی اسألوک علما نافیا ورزقا طیبا وعملا متقبلا ربنا زدنا علما اجمعین انشاءاللہ رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی عمری وحل الاغدتم من لسالی یفقہو قولی السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہو بردر سسٹر This is Ustad Asim Mehri Ali class for Sunday, February 25th, 2024. My name is Nisar Sheikh and I will be continuing facilitating grammatically analysis of Surah in Shakaq, Surah number 84 in the Quranic sequence, from Ayah number 13 onwards, inshallah. And as usual, brothers and sisters, Before we proceed with the analysis, I would like to re-emphasize or reiterate that I am not a alim or even a teacher, but merely a student of the Quran who spent many hours per week to prepare the notes for a number of Arab books and dictionaries from our respective scholars so that it can save you a lot of time and make it easy for you for your study. Of course, brother and sister, I am a human being. I can make mistakes. So first of all, I seek forgiveness in advance from my Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then from you all, if I make any mistake, and humbly request and encourage you all to help me to correct this mistakes. On the screen right now, you can see my email address. This email is very specific for this class. In this way, I can respond to your query or corrections quickly and effectively. So please do write to me and give your suggestion for improvement or any other issue you can see in, which, in, in such a way the class can be improved. I would, like, I would love to hear from you guys. But the sister, in the screen, the initial screen I showed you, the names of the scholar along with the page number of their respective Arab books for easy reference for our advanced student. But mostly, brother and sister, as I repeatedly say, that we will be following Dr. Suleiman Yaqub. Dr. Suleiman Yaqub, most of the time. But whenever more information is warranted, inshallah, I will add additional information from the other scholars, and you can see the Arab books, which I have consulted all this time. I'm now going to repeat the names again and again. I, I do make a habit that before I start my class, I always say this, uh, I always repeat these things, so that people who are joining new, they should know that uh, what our context of the class is. For instance, for the first purposes, that means, the vocabulary of the words of the ayah and their conjugation, I have consulted a number of dictionaries, mostly the Quranic dictionaries from uh, uh, Brill or Badawi, also known as the double deep dictionary from Abu Saad, and other Quranic dictionaries such as John Penn Rice, Dr. Zadavi, Dr. Lutfur Rahman, and from the Brother Zahid name notes. And I also consulted a little bit more general but very detailed dictionary like as we are, where it is needed. I then, for your convenience, put all these Quranic words on the same page of the ayah so that it becomes easy for you guys to look at the vocabulary and conjugation right on the same page and it will help us all to understand and translate the ayah easily, alhamdulillah. So without further ado, inshallah, we will start uh, 
with the analysis. And I think we we did last time. Let me just open up the page. Yeah, we will start, inshallah, from ayah number 13 onwards. But to complete the context of the ayah, we go back for a couple of ayahs and very briefly, very briefly just uh, uh, review it. And this is the thing, remember, the ayah when we talked about, those are the, those people whose, whose uh, kitab or records will be given in their right hand. They will have what type of life, and you, you heard that thing. And now we are talking about in this section, وَأَمَّا مِنْ أُوْتِيَا كِتَابُهُ وَرَا زَحْرِ And as far as the one whose book is, whose records are giving behind their back, whose records are giving behind the back, what's going to happen with that? Next, I will tell you, فَصَوْفَا يَدْعُوْ سَبُورًا فَصَوْفَا يَدْعُوْ سَبُورًا And these people will ask, these people will pray and cry out, for their own destruction, because they are afraid of the uh, punishment. Okay. Then we heard what was the punishment? Vajasla Saira. He will burn. He will burn in a blazing fire. Those people whose record has been given behind their back, whose record be given behind their back, they will fear for so much that they will cry, they will pray, they will beg for they should, for their complete extraction. But if we tell them, no, they will burn in a blazing fire. And in other places, you know, always use it for avada, you know, so love forever and forever, okay? Now we come back to this, the same people, they say, innahu kana fi ahlihi masrura. Innahu fi kana, innahu you can see very nicely the verb Jumla Ismail has started uh, in Nahu uh -huh, right there. And then you have a Kana, which is which is Filinakis, as you know, and Fi Ahlejar. Ahlehi actually is is a Majroor. And by now, I think you already know that there is a Madaf Madafilahi uh, uh, thing there, Ahlehi. And then uh, and then and then this become uh, what you call jaru majroor, you know, and masrura is because because you see uh, kana came. We are looking for ismo kana. There will be khabro kana. Okay, let's do analysis in detail. Then then is going to become much easier, you know, much easy to understand. Inna hu harfe taqi do nasfin. So there are two words, brother and sister here. Inna and hu. So number one, in Arfa Toki do Nasbin. I have to take it back so that let's see what's the thing. No. I think I have to change my okay. So this is Harfo. We already know this. So Toki. Just to just to just to complete the notes, we were writing Harfa Nok Toki were Nasbin. Harfa Toki were Nasbin. And this is always Mabniala Fata. Always fatah on the inna, right? And then who is, we know, <laughs> the mere matasir. Now, inna came, so what we were looking for inna? We were looking for ismo inna. We were looking for ismo inna, and then we will be looking for khabro inna. Okay? So inna, we're looking for ismo inna. Immediately you say, the mere matasir decided, so that becomes ismo inna. So we say, the mere alha. Al-A'u is Damire Muttasil. Mabni ala Fatah. Fi mehalli Nasbin. Always Ismu Inna is always Mansubun. Ismu Inna is Mansubun. Khabro Inna is Marfuun. The opposite is true for Kana. Always in the The opposite is true for Kana. So, the Mere Muttasil, Babni Allah Fatah, Fi Mehalli, Nasbin, Ismo Inna. And then we have Kana, which is Fele Madin. One word only. And 
and it is nakis. I mean, there's not a complete word. It itself doesn't have the action. Okay? So it, it's not a complete word. Okay? So therefore, therefore, it needs it, it needs ism and khabar. Okay. So nakis and ismokana. Where is the ismokana? Ismokana, you, you don't see you don't see any word from there, so ismokana is muttasir here. So ismokana is zamir mustatir mustatirun mustatirun and it is javazan is optional right takdeer hu hua and which is here and since ismokana ismo inna is mansuban ismokana is marfuan okay? so fi mahalli rafi so it's opposite to each other okay fi mahalli rafi and usually what we do as our thing, we write hua, which is ismo kana. Right? Okay, so far so good. Kana fi ahlihi, fi harfika. And we should keep the same, same thing. At the jarrin, and it is mabniyala. Sukun. There is only always sukun on the ya. They would the madda here because of the following word is hamza is madde mantasilin. So and this is of course ahli is isma majroor. Isma majroor alamat jarra is. Okay, and this, and it's also wahwa mudaf, and then plus mudaf. This is two words, and high is sorry. Ha is damire mutasil. And this is female. Excuse me. Female. Jarvin. And this together the both. This becomes Jaro Majru. Jaro Majru. Mutalik Ismo Mapul which is coming after it. Ismo Mapul coming Masrurun. Okay. We went to vocabulary, then I will explain a bit more. So it's Masrurun. So, brother, sister, remember, we talked about several times, and I promised you guys that one of these days, when we have a little bit more time in the class, or sometime, sometime when we finish our analysis a little bit earlier, and we have some, some time to spare, then I will go through about the char majur and mutallakat. But one thing to remember very, very clearly, the jaro majur itself does not have any sensible meaning. For example, you say Kaledun Filbati. Right? Filbati here in the house doesn't have a meaning. Okay? Unless it has something, something mezuk, something missing. Now you have a Khalidun, Khalidun Muptada, and there is a khabar. Filbati has a khabar, is mutalik jaru majroor, mutalik bi mezub khabar, and khabar can be majudun, you know, you can use several type of words 
to, to, to say that Khalid is present in the house or Khalid is uh, established in the house and you know so so that part is mehzoob right so jaro machroob is always mutallik something sometimes mutallik is present in the same sentence like here alhamdulillah this mutallik here okay? and sometimes this mutallik is mehzoob and has a different names and i will inshallah someday i give you all the examples and so forth and explain you how jaro machroob are related to different type of noun it relative to sometime it relate to a fail in a fail case it can be majood or it can be mazoob and similarly it related to ism and ism can have a several forms as you know ism can be ism fa'il ism maf'ul ism shibba shuba jumla ism mubalagha yeah and so for master you know and so forth okay so when they always mutallik something so that mutallik may be majood present or mazoob is if you have to when when the when the mutallik is mazoob you have to estimate it you have to takdeer ho you have to estimate it inshallah someday uh, when we finish our class a little bit earlier so have time inshallah i have already prepared the tables for you you guys to show you and explain you further this is a concept which is a little bit new you this concept you will not find in detail in the madina books and our our ustad uh, dr um, uh uh brother and sister sorry after my stroke i always get this um, this issue of uh, forget forgetful dr abdul rahim uh, mashallah dr abdul rahim all the medina books by dr abdul rahim i think that the concept is not uh, that well covered there so inshallah we will go to that okay so here innahu kana fi ahlihi masrura now what is now we look we have a two issues right now one issue we can see we have to look this is ism we have to looking for a khabar okay i will just write down khal here okay we have to look for the khabar <laughs> and now we have a ismo kana we have to look khabro kana khabro okay. inna wa khabro ka okay let's go systematically now masrurun ke mean immediately kana fi ahlihi masrurun This masrurin become khabro kana, which is mansub. Remember, the 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 khabro inna is marfu. Ismo inna is mansub. Khabro inna is marfu, and masrurin is mansubun. Okay, it is mansub, right? So, but on the other hand, ismo kana is marfu one. Khabro kana is mansubun, so masrurun in actually khabro kana. Okay, so so easy. Alhamdulillah. So write down khabar. Khabro okay. kana as will be mansubun. And alamat and asbaye fatatu zahira. Or, or for the time, okay, because it's a, it's a, uh, a message, okay. It's more fine. Ah, khabro kana, okay. Now, but this, now we have a khabar. So, jumla, this kana, fi ahli, fi ahli hi, masrurun. This complete jumla is, is khabro inna. is complete jumla from here to here become khabro inna let me just take our line here i wish to delete that thing from here for the no purposes i will do is write here like this this one here and here is jumla this is it jumla means kana wa ismuha or you can say jumla ismiya wa ismuha wa khabruha is fi mahalli what ismu inna is mansuban wa khabru inna is marfuun fi mahalli rafil 
and it becomes Kablu Gimli. See, so brother and sister, now we have, now we have Ismo Inna and we have uh, Ismo Kana and we have Kablu Kana. And here we have Ismo Inna and now we have Kablu. But this jumla is complete jumla. Jumla min kana, jumla min inna, you complete now, total from here to here. Go to here. This complete jumla is the jumla inna. This jumla is la mahalla minar era. Why? Because it is taliliya. It's explanatory, explanatory jumla coming from the previous ayah. Okay. It is it's it's um, it's, it's, it's giving the talil. Okay. So I will write down here jumla min min crazy it is written better. Otherwise the pen pen flips on the glass. Min inna vaismoha wa khabarha abruha is la mahalla min al arab. This is my sign for the la mahalla maha min al arab. Why? Because Dr. Dakut is explaining us it is taliliya. So it's a lama lama. So let's look at the meaning. Inna, we already know very nicely. Indeed, and who there is? Yes, sir. Indeed, he. So it's a green color. I say, indeed, he. Who is the he? It's he. Wa jasla. Wa jasla sairan. Or he is the same one for Safa Yadu Saburan, who is who's crying for the uh, for the instant death, and he will be burning in the in the blazing fire. So this is the guy. Inna, indeed he Kana was. I have to write this so that you can screenshot. You will you will be able to see he was, or here it could be had been, to make it an easy translation. Indeed, he had been fi ahlihi in among in ahlihi ahlihi ahl. I think let's go to the vocabulary. I I I I produce that thing. Ahlun ahlun here. I will just make a slight note here for myself. Here, so then I can grab something. Okay, so Ahlin is meaning is people, family, household. This is a very f f familiar word, you know. So people use it in a in a Urdu language also. They use this word very 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 commonly. Ahlin. household, owner, inhabitant, followed, a man's wife or wives. And his children, this all called ahl. You know, you, you pray, O oh Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, uh, have a merciful my my on on myself, have a mercy on myself and my ahl wayal. You know, so this is ahl is it hinting, okay? And you also know, I think that there is a there is a very nice. I think I did something here wrong. So let me, yeah, okay, get that. Jazakallah. Uh, a very common word in Arabic language use, I think those, those of you who have studied the Medina book, this sentence, this phrase is always there. Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaba. Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaba. This is the one when you greet your host, greet your guest on the door, and you say ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaba. Very common in Arabic practice, actually. So meaning for that is, I have detailed meaning for you guys. 
basically is is a simplified meaning a very simplified meaning is welcome welcome to my home welcome 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 remember when you greet your guest you call them welcome but ahlan sahlan wa marhaba is equivalent to welcome but you have if you look at the complete meaning of ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaba you will have you have come to a people who are like kings folk and to a place that is plain and to a place that is plain even not rugged even and not rugged sahlan and it has a ample space of roomy it has ample space of roomy therefore rejoice yourself and not be sad or shy rejoice yourself and not be sad or shy so this is literally meaning of it given generalized meaning is ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaba you know it like to greet your your guests at the door you say you say welcome 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 to home so in arab and muslim we say ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaba okay so this is the same same root word same thing okay came from ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaba so we will say ahlan is we we get it his his people or his them ahlihi his his people is people na masruran what is masruran go back masruran the word masruran is from seen ra ra these are the root words sarra is a mudaf word being that the both ain al lam kalma is double ain al lam kalma is double pa kalma ain kalma la kalma is double okay so this these the first words called mudaf so so sarra yasurru that mean bab nasra sarra yasurru sururan is masdar tafsiratan is masdar or masaratan is masdar okay sururan you know very common use in urdu language we use it all the time okay so bab nasra what is the what is the meaning of this two two root words are to make happy to gladden to delight to cheer here masruran came is the as masruran is ismo mafool ismo mafool from this word sarr okay one who is happy or one who is pleased one who is happy or one one who is pleased i think we took the word pleased here eh, for our meaning and there are other type of words from the same group came in the quran form four is asarra yusirru is foreign but this is to i just put these two together so that we can develop our vocabulary because when we reach to these words alhamdulillah they become very easy for us to understand from the same root word form for is asarru yusirru israran this is masdar to conceal to hide to keep secret or testify right wasirru qalukum a wijharu bai surah malq both right israrun is concealing scheming confidentiality private secrecy or israrun israrun is the noun israrun matlab okay so the same thing and then sirrun or asrarun is predecessor wash the wash the thing is a is kasra and this is kata okay kata asrarun in secret signify a secret in mind the secret secret in mind secrecy or mystery okay sariratun or sarairun means secret signified a secret action whether good or evil okay and then sarir or sururan is also couch bed elevated seat you know if you go to the i think uh, 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 one of the sura you this word is has been used there is an elevated seat like this so okay so this root word is the same thing so masruran here we say pleased or happy pleased or happy so these are the people who used to be these are the people who used to be when they were among their people very happy and joyful and joying you know these are the that's what that's what it meant so let's look at the let's look at the authentic translation inshallah um 
I'm sorry I didn't open the translation. Just give me one minute, please. There's a master translation here. So this is the IA number 13. Go to IA number 13. There we go. So we just cut from here and bring it to a place so you can have a proper notes with you. There we go. So the meaning from Kilir Quran, which is Dr. Mustafa Khatam, he's saying, Innahu kana fi ahlihi masroran, for they used to be prideful among their people. These are the people who's going to burn in a fire. They used to be very pride, prideful among their people. Dr. Mohar Ali is saying, indeed, he had been among his people happy. The same guy, because because they were denying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they were, you know, they were denying the day of resurrection, and they were very happily boasting about, so these are the same people. Indeed, he had been among his people very happy. And uh, Sister Iman Torres say, really, he used to go around happily among his people. He used to go around happily among his people. Our word-to-word -word translation say, indeed, he had been among his people happy or joyful or or pleased. Okay, so these are the these are the so and then then if you look at the context, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioning those people whose their second has been given in the back end, they would cry for their extraction, and they will burn in a hellfire. These are the people who used to be who had been who used to be very happy in this world among among his people. So next ayah, inshallah, innahu zanna ayn, innahu zanna allan yahura, innahu zanna allan yahura, uh, lan yahura, sorry, lan yahura. Here, brothers and sisters, you know, there is a noon sakin came in here. Sorry, I think it's moving. I don't want to move. There's a noon sakin came here. Noon sakin followed by lamb, so this this going to become idram. Uh, this going to become idram ghair gunna. So you will pronounce directly with ali, ali, Allah. And this this noon sakin here has ya coming first, so there's a gunna will come in. Idram ma gunna, idram ghair gunna. So, so I beg your pardon, I think in the beginning I pronounced it wrong, so innahu Zanna Allan Allay Yahura. So in Nahu, the same thing as we did. Indeed, he is. So what we do, I think rather wasting time, we just cut and paste it. Okay. So this to complete your notes. I think I just remember I did not give you screenshot. My my apologies. Just give me one minute. I think we do that before we start this hour. So we just put it here. Before we do that, I thought I just want to go back and give you a screenshot. I am number 13, screenshot for the Arabs, grammatical analysis of each and every word. And this is the morphology of the words or vocabulary. Okay. Alhamdulillah. I think you will. So we go back. Innahu zanna allay yahura. So innahu harfit of inna harfit of in this one. One word, two words. I beg pardon. Yes. I think we'll be using a red color for that all the time. So we do one, we do two. Okay. Now zanna. This one has a little bit little bit complication so i think bear bear with me inshallah i will make it easy for you guys okay now zanna what is zanna zanna is pele madir fabni ala fata excuse me pele madin fabni ala fata and here now we have to look at this fail is file. So this is fail, we have it, Pele Madin, where is the file? 
file is must appear in okay file is must appear in so we say the way they must be there Mustahirun, the mere Mustahirun, Zajavazan, same thing as before. Tadzirohu, Hua. Okay, and as usual, we write down the name. Okay, the name. So, now, we have Ismoinna. We have to figure out where, where is Khabroinna. Where is Khabroinna? We have Ismoinna. We need to figure out where is Khabroinna, okay? So I think I will make a dot here to find out like this. Yes, so just like we have to look for Khabroinna, okay? Now, next one is Ain. First of all, brother and sister, remember, whenever Zanna comes in, it always requires two Mukuli Bahi. Whenever Zanna comes in, it requires two Mukuli Bahi. I think that if you if you go through, uh, I may have something for you guys, actually, that maybe maybe is a, is a time to revise that thing. Uh, our uh, Ustad, um, back here, no, sorry, yeah, why I have it here, you see, Zanna. Zanna is the Madina book three, book two, Page page eight to nine is very nicely explained. Okay, I just I just made it simple for you guys, you know, to understand. Zanna is the verb that takes two objects, two for mukulba. Both are in the accusative case. Okay, both are in the accusative case. For example, you have a jawu jamilun. If you make it, the weather is fine. If you want to use thing actually, azunnu ajullu jamilun. Okay, so whenever you come in, just one mukulba and the second mufule. One mufule bahi, see, second mufule bahi. One mufule bahi, second mufule bahi. Okay. So there's some time we have it in, in, in a jumla. Ajavu jamilan, azannu anna ajavu jamilan. When anna came in, so these two of them, jumla combined together, become a mufule bahi. And we call it in a grammar, sadda masadda mufulai. Sadda basadda, mufulaina, or mufulai, or what? Zanna. But Zanna has taken, is occupying the two seats of the Zanna. So we go back to the Aita. So therefore, this sentence following sentence would be, that like I mentioned now, this sentence would be mufulibahi for, for an, okay? For, for, for Zanna, okay? Now, an, what is an? An from Anna is a mukhaffafa min sakila. Anna, noon sakila, now is noon sakun there, so become shortened or become lightened. Okay, shortened or become lightened. This ayah has a couple of things actually, we're going to take a little bit time to short things out. Okay, so we, I, I'm going to go a little bit slowly here and inshallah we'll, we'll wrap it up very nicely so everybody can understand. So first thing we do here, we write down what is Anna, what is An. An is Mukhaffafa. Mukhaff. Mukhaffafa. Okay, Mukhaffafa. Min. Obviously, Mukhaffafun min as-sakila. Sakila. Okay. So, this is lightened form of Anna. Okay. And is harf. And is Mabniyala Sakun. Is a sukun. Okay. Babni Allah sukun. Okay. And now there is something uh, Dr. Yakut is mentioning here. There is something mazuf here. There is something mazuf here. And what you're saying, then mazuf is actually 
ismo inna because you can't find any ismo inna so ismo inna is mazuf here and what is mazuf here is who now i will explain what this who is called okay so i will say is ismo inna sorry i beg your pardon ismo in is ismo ismo an my mistake i beg your pardon ismo an what i am saying actually may allah forgive me for that okay please please forgive me i am pronouncing wrong ismo an ismo an is mazu And Tadiruhu, that our start, our thing is Damiru Shan. I will explain you what is Damiru Shan. Okay? Is Damiru Shan. Okay? And this, Mazu Damiru Shan, and Tadiruhu is. So it actually in Nahu. So write down. It actually not in Na An Who. So this Who. This Who is the Mirushan. Now, okay. And I will write down here Who. In An Who. An Who. Anhu nan yahuran. Okay. Now, what is brother and sister Damirushan? Before we go further, what is Damirushan? So I have something uh, prepared for you guys. Damirushan. There you go. Damirushan is a pronoun of matter. Is a pronoun of a matter. Okay. What is that? Usually, brother and sister, the mayer. Either they are muttasil or munfasil. Muttasil or munfasil, they point to a noun that has come earlier in the syntax. All the gamayar which comes in, they pointing to a noun which has come earlier in the syntax. For example, Belal came and he mentioned that. So this he is referring to Belal. This is a common, what you call, pronoun. It's a common pronoun, okay? So Belal came and he mentioned that, so so whatever it is. And this this Belal, this he is now referring to Belal, which came in the beginning. This is a normal, okay? In Quran, he said, Wala taktumu shahada, shaha, shahadat, shahadata, waman, waman yaktumha, waman yaktumha. Do not conceal the evidence. Okay, and whoever conceal it, whoever conceal means evidence. Okay, this high year is referring to evidence. This is the normal damai, normal dami, referring to a noun which came, referring to a noun which came before. Now, dami roshan is a pronoun of a matter, a refer to something that is going to come. A refer to something there is going to come. Okay. For example, if you say it is wrong to go there, the place is not safe. So the it came before. <laughs> it is referring to the place which is coming afterwards. So this it is the Miro Shan. The Miro Shan, a Damair came first, a pronoun came first, which is referring to a noun which comes after in this sentence. That one is called the, the Miro. Okay. Example in the Quran, Fa innahu ismu kalbuhu. Fa innahu ismu kalbuhu. Innahu. See this inno. This who now. This who is pointing down to ismu kalbuhu. Then indeed it is a sinful heart. So this who is pointing to sinful heart which is coming afterwards. Very famous, everybody know. Kul hu wallahu ahad. This huwa is Damiru Shan, which is Muptada, referring to 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is, he is referring to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is came after. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Jew Jumla came after. So referring to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is Wahid, the one alone. Okay. So this is what called the Damiru Shan. Okay. Now let's go back to our class, our note. So this Anhu, Anhu is, this who is mentioning to something which is coming afterwards. Okay. Now let's see what's up. All right. Now, next word is lun. Remember lun, an and lun. You know that these are the harufan nasban. Azan, an, ki, lun. They all, they all make, they all make their badariya following it. Uh, mansu. So this is lun, which is harfun nafi, wa nasbin, wa istakbal. Is harfun nafi. Nafi wa nasbin wa istakbal. Mean that is bringing futurity. It bring in something future. Okay. Is tik istakbal. Something in future. And it is mabni ala sukun. Now, Yahura. Yahura, you can see the help of Madariya there. So, Yahura is Madariya Mansubun. And you can look at the thing here, right? You can see. Okay, you can see the Fatari. Mansub. Madariya. Mansuban, why the lun? Okay. And it is Alamati Nasba is Fatatu Sahara. Okay. And file here is Damire Mutsir. Here also file is the same thing. We just copy from here rather than typing this thing. Become easier. We just save us some time. It was in the zero who hua. I just remove from here and bring it in a side here to become more so become easier. Okay. The mere mustafir javazar the zero who hua. Now now we have to look through. We have a ismo inna came before and zanna. Let's take for the zanna first. Okay. When a zanna came in, it requires a uh, maybe 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 we do afterwards. Maybe maybe we do afterwards. So I just try to think about to make things very simple. First of all, we have inna who and we have ismo inna. We are looking for khabro inna. Where is the khabro inna? Khabro inna, brother and sister, the entire jumla, this jumla here, let's make it uh, blue color. This jumla, which is jumla, Min fail plus file fi mehali zafin is become khabro illa. Okay. Usually, when you say okay, that's that's the we take over the khabro illa. Now, where is, where is the cover of an? We have an here, right? It has a ismo an. Where is the cover on an? 
Aber auf einmal ist now hier, was Jumla. Das Jumla, lang wir so. Jumla. Min. Pel. Plus file. Si me heli. Rapin. I would be Kabru Han. And so for you can I don't know how far for min min platila. Okay. Correct. So you did this okay. Now we have looking for Zanna. Now we have a Zaka Zanna. We have a file of Zanna. We have a file of Zanna. I think I forgot to write here. I beg your pardon. This will be file. File of Zanna. And where is the cover of Zanna? Remember we said, uh, sorry, file of Zanna. Where is the Mufuli by your Zanna? Just say Zanna always take two Mufuli. Correct? So this, this sentence from here, This sentence here, which is from an write up Jumla Min Min Jumla Jumla Min An Wa Ismuha <coughs> no, no. The other complication here is, we'll, we will have, I will come back. Right now, just, just remember this becomes, this, this becomes Sadda Masadda Mufulai. But what is Sadda Masadda Mufulai? Okay. Now, whenever an comes in, right? An is also as a an plus fail always become a master mobile. An plus fail always an mastery plus fail become master mobile. Okay, so that the feet are will master. So there's jumla an vaismoha wo kabruha. I will say feet are will master or master mobile. Tavil, excuse me, master. And this now they become Sadda. I know I'm going to explain Sadda Masadda. We did several times, and I will start with it several times. Masadda, Sadda Masadda, Mufulai. Of what? Zanna. Just a minute, there is a I need a cup of water. Excuse me. Alhamdulillah. Since a couple of our colleagues are complained that my voice is low, so I have to start shout now. When I shout, then my then, then my throat get dry. Brother and sister, please forgive me. So now we have Anna. We have we have we we, we took care of this Anna now. Okay, we took care of Anna. So I think we we, we took care of uh, um, all the things. We took care of Khabro. We have Ismo Inna, Khabro Inna. We have Zanna, Zanna to Mufuli Bahi there. We have An and we have Ismo An and Khabro. Right. So let's one more time. Okay. Ismoinna, oh, excuse me. Ismoinna, Khabroinna. Right? And then we have <clears throat> Zanna and Tumufulibai. And then we have An, Anna, we have Isam, which is Nazu. And then, <clears throat> and then we have, we have 
cup. Okay. So now, but this is the Miroshan, right? This the Miroshan, this who now, this who is referring to, who is referring to who? This who is referring to what? Yahuru, because remember the pile, the Miroshan, who, who are. So, so the master, so the master came afterwards, right? So that's why it's called Zamiru Shan, as I as I explained. When we do the translation, it becomes a little bit easier. Okay. So we say indeed in Nahu. So I think our in time frame wise, our speed is a bit slow, so I have to rush a little bit. Indeed, he Zanna, you see who are there. So we say he in bracket thought. Un that and now run un is makapapa. Lun, we already know how to nafi and in the in the in in the in the future, that's in the future is never. Now Yahu. So let's see. Okay, first of all, let's look at the Zanna. Okay. Let's look at the Zanna. Zanna is again mudav word, Zoe, noon, noon. Sorry. Zoe, noon, noon. Zanna ya zunnu zannan. Okay. Bab nasra. To think, to consider, to deem, to come to know or realize, to guess. Okay. Now, this is very important. I have to read this thing, brothers and sisters. Please take a note there. Zanna belongs to, rather, lead to a group of words which takes two direct objects. That's why I said to Mokuli its meaning vary over a degree of certainty from being a very certain on one extreme to being a doubtful on the other. One, one instant it will be very certain on one extreme and to be a doubtful for Allah. According to al if Zanna is followed by Anna, not Mokhafafa, not Mokhafafa, okay? It's a Sakira, noon Sakira. The meaning are closer to high degree of Certainty. The meaning are closer to a higher degree of certainty. But if it's followed by an mukhafafa, they are closer to lower degree of certainty. They are closer to lower degree of certainty. So this is important when you look at the meaning of the talk. Okay. When we come to the meaning, that he thought that la never now yahur. What is yahur? Hara root words are. Root words are Hara, Yahuru, Hauran, and Huran. Hur, everybody knows. Hur, okay. Hara, Yahuru, Hauran, Huran. Bab Nasra. To recede, to decrease, to return here, to return from a good state to the bad state. Call all Hara. Okay. From this, form three, form three, here we were. Yahur came in, yeah, but a form of Hara, which means to return. That's the meaning, inshallah, we use. Other words, Quran came in, Havara, Yuhaviru, Mahavara, in form three, to have a dialogue. Mahavara, remember, because a lot of people know about Mahavara, to have a dialogue, to debate, to argue, to discuss, to have a conversation. And Hurun, and Pruval is Havran, Havrau. How raw? Okay. Pure. Someone with a high contrast between the black and white parts of their eye. White parts of their eye, actually, everybody knows. Okay. So we'll come back to this translation from Dr. Yakud afterwards. Here we write down and we say return. Remember? So we say because 
presence sister Lan came in, this thing become, Madariya become went to, definitely into Mustaqbil. So we say, and there who means he, so we write down, he will return. He will return. Where? To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, a couple of things we will, we will look through, inshallah. Here. Number one, indeed, indeed he thought the guy who was the guy who was enjoying with Ahlan, the guy who has been who has been happily moving around, happily among his people, he used to think, he thought at, at that time that he will never return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he will never return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this he is the guy, and who is the Mirushan referring to emphasizing that thing, okay? The Mirushan came first referring to Hua of the Yahoo. Okay. So I think I think that that's okay here. Okay. So this is this is what the use of the Damir is a, a Damir which is referring to a noun which is happening afterwards. Noun which came afterwards and this noun is who hua. And hua is referred to the guy who used to enjoy uh, en enjoy uh, with his company of, of Ahl. Okay. So let's look at the meaning. Uh, let's look at what Dr. Yakut is mentioning about about uh, footnote. So he's saying about. I think this footnote is for Yahoo. Okay, it's mentioning that uh, he said in Nahu, in Nahu Zanna Anling Yarjayu Ilallahi Taala. Taksibal bil maadi fayu hasibuhu fayu hasibuhu. This is the footnote of Yakud. I have translated for you guys. Indeed, he thought that he will never hit us. Please forgive me. This is this my translation. If I make a mistake, it's all mine. But I think this is this is a, a tafsiri translation, so it may not be exact, but tafsiri translation. Indeed, he thought that he will never return to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, denying the day of resurrection denying the day of resurrection therefore he will be held accountable therefore he will be held accountable for you he will he will be he will be held accountable okay and the cause will be in maya denying of the, uh, the, the his ultimate destination or resurrection okay so so the guy who was enjoying among his ahalil very pleased, and then he, he indeed he thought that he will never return to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Okay, so Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, so Dr. Yakud explaining by Yahuda, it also means that he thought he will never return to Allah, denying the day of resurrection, that he will be held accountable. Therefore, he will be held accountable. Okay, let's look at it. How what our um, what our uh, our um, the, the authentic translation uh, was saying here. Okay, so we go ayah number fourteen. Copy. Go back to what thing? There it is. Okay. So kill your Quran is mentioning this thing. Thinking they would never return to Allah. Thinking they will never return to Allah. Here actually, even though he was used singular form, but, but the Tafsiri translation is, they're talking about, the example is given for one person, but 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 they are, uh, but, but, uh, but it involves the all those people who are happily enjoying or something, and they were denied the resurrection, uh, with the kafir. So, so they are, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking about them thing. That therefore, a clear Quran, Doctor um, um, Mustafa Qasim, he he used the word they, thinking they would never return to Allah. Remember the tafsir. Doctor Muhammad Ali, he did the translation, which would be indeed he thought, that's it. Indeed he thought, he thought that he will never return, that he will never return. So I, we did, uh, we, we did actually um, a translation 
exactly word to word by by Dr. Mohar Ali. Okay. Iman Tori said that he thought he will never return to Allah. He thought that he will never return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I'm going to give a screenshot of this page before we go further. I hope it's clear, alhamdulillah. And I was able to explain you about uh, Ganna. That Ganna requires a tumusul ibai. And be able to explain you about the Damirus Shan. Damirus Shan. Shan. And be able to figure out. I think one more item I think we should we should look here, which is this jumla, the complete jumla from here to here. I think I'm now going to um, write it again, but this complete jumla here is the same thing is Taliliya. La Mahalla Mela Ram. Jumla is Avi just Jumla La Mahalla Mela Ram. Okay. The complete jumla from bottom to end. It has no Arab. Okay? This jumla. Kalilia again, okay. Ex explanation of the previous one. Uh, what 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 has been said previously, okay. Now I can give you a screenshot for this section here. So you have the uh, vocabulary. You can have the vocabulary. Okay. Alhamdulillah. So let's go to the formal. Now next ayah came in. Bala Inna Rabbuhu Inna Rabbahu Kana Bihi Basira Bala Inna Rabbahu Kana Bihi Basira. So there are two things getting here, okay? So we go a little bit, uh, inshallah, we will go to to try to explain that too. What is Bala? Bala, I think someday I will show you the chart. Bala. Here, let me just take my pen. Is called Harfu Ijaz. I will explain what it means. Harfu Ijabin. Lima. Bad Nafi. Okay. P. Let me write down first, then I'll explain it. P. Lan. Lan. Yahoo. Lan. Yahoo. See? Lan. Yahoo. Asabika. Okay. It has, and this is, this is always P. Mahalli. Sorry, it Mabni Allah. I beg your pardon. Mabni Allah, Sakur. It's always Sakur Allah. Bala. Here you can see his mud came in because of the after, after that you can see the Afro. Um, uh, halki came in, and therefore, therefore it becomes uh, you have the mada. Okay, so here. Are. So Dr. Yakut is saying, what does first of all, what is this mean? Harfu ijabun lima baadin nafi pilan jahura. It means it means affirmation after negation. Ijab is affirmation. So I will write down for you translation. Affirmation after negation. Okay, in the previous ayah, Allah Yahu. Okay, so Doctor Yakut is telling, "Are you bala Yahuranna?" Are you la la yar jianna? Mean are you la yar jianna? Mean will certainly return. Mean they will certainly bala yahuranna. Are you la yar jianna? Okay. Maybe I should write down because a lot of people follow Yakut. So, 
So I think it, it will have then the better operation. Okay. So IE, IE. Blah. I will explain about Blah a little bit more. Blah. Yahoo. Nana, meaning, meaning, Mayar Yarji Anna, meaning that will, will certainly. return. So this bala is actually the affirmation giving the thing. Okay, for this negative sentence, indeed he thought they will never return. So bala is saying, no, indeed they will return. No, indeed they will return. Okay. So therefore, look. So let's let's look at the bala. Okay. I think I, I, I have a I have a little bit thing for you, bala. Yeah. The difference between bala and them. So just, just we will focus on the one item because we are short up with the time. The word bala is used in reply to a negative question. If a Muslim is asked, a the Muslim, are you Muslim? Are you not a Muslim? Alasta, are you not a Muslim? Because a negative sentence. What would the answer? He will say, bala, ana Muslim. Yes, I'm a Muslim. Yes, I'm a Muslim. But if a non-Muslim is asked the same question, are you Muslim? Are you not a Muslim? He will say, he will say, naam. Okay. He reply, naam, that's the Muslim. So in reply to a negative question, naam means no, and bala means yes. Okay. Na, bala means yes. So that's what happened here. Here, bala means yes. This is we think actually. I think uh, Iman Tori says uh, have have explained slightly different, but but I give the example of Doctor of the, of the, of the same book. It's a book too, page page forty. Let's go. Uh, that that is the Medina book key, English key actually. Okay. So this this we cover it. An inna inna harfet akido question. Inna harfet akido. And it's not near the fatah. Okay. Rabbahu. You can just look at it. So two words. Very quickly. Rabba and who. Rabba is no inna. Rabba is no inna. We have explained so many times because you see the fatah here. You can, you, you, you can tell. It's no inna and it is mansubun. So I'm now going to go to explain it again. It's mansubun. And alamat in Asbai is Fatatul Zahira. And then we have a ha with Jamire Mutasil. I will write them quickly. Babni al Adamma. And this is Fi Mahali. Is, sorry, Ismoinda Mansuban is also Wahwa Mudaf. This is Nisi. In a rush. This is it. And this is Mudafila. Okay, this is what happened. So this Muda Mudafili, Rabbahu, Muda Mudafila. Inna Rabbahu to Rabba, Inna came, Rabba immediately become his Ismaili. Okay. Now we have to look for the Habro Inna in a, in a problem. Now we have after Inna, we have now Kana. <laughs> Kana again, a failed Nakis. Nakasun and Mabniala Fata. And now Kana came. So where is the where is the where is the Ismukana? Ismukana is same thing. I think let's let's copy from the back. Uh, we have it from here. Here we did. Yeah. We just copy from here. So just save some time to because we're getting short of the time. So. Okay, 
اس مکانہ دے مرمت سے جواز تقدیر ہو ہوا ایز ا رائٹ ڈاؤن ہوا رائٹ ہے سو ائی ڈو دس تھنگ دین وی ڈو ٹرانسلیشن سو وی نو اوکے یس سو کانا نو ناؤ وی ہیو ا اسمو کانا وی ور لوکنگ فار خبر کانا وی ہیو ان وی ہیو اسمو ان وی ور لوکنگ فار خبر اوکے سو بہی بہی اس حرف کو جار اس میں مجرور جار و مجرور اوکے سو بہی So rather me writing everything down, I will just write down Jaro Majroon, okay? Because her, by is Harpa Jarrin, Mabni Ala Sapoon, and he is the Mere Muttasir, uh, he is Ismo Majroon, okay? So ha is Ismo Majroon, alamat, uh, uh, alamat the thing is, is, is uh, you, can, uh, you can see the Kasra, Kasra apron there, okay? You can see the Kasra apron there, so. All right? So we go, uh, so I'm going to write down Jaro Majroor, Jaro Majroorun, and this is always Jaro Majroor is Mutalik something, right? So Mutalik, the, what he called Basiran, which is Ismo Fail. Masroorun was Ismo Mapool, we, we came in before, okay? So just. Just, just as the member that is. So it's Ismo. Ismo file in bracket Basir. Okay. Right? So, this. so Bahi, we take care of the Bahi. Kana Bahi. Basiran. Now we can see Kana Ismo Kana. Ismo Kana is Marfogun. خبر کانا ایز منصوبن تو بصیر نیز یو کین سی منصوب ورڈ فرسٹ منصوب ورڈ کا بھی منصوب ورڈ کے مین اسم کے مین بیکم خبر کانا تو الحمد للہ سو وی سی دیر خبر کانا این منصوبن علامت دستہ ایز پتہ کو ظاہرہ Now we have, we have a khabro kana, right? But we are still looking for khabro inna, <laughs> right? So what is khabro inna? The same thing, the jumla kana, like we did before. Jumla kana, min kana, so ismo ha. خبر ہے محلی رف ان بیکاز اسمو انا از منصوب خبرو خبرو انا از مرفوب اوکے دم از کبر خبرو ان الحمد للہ سی اب ناؤ آئی تھنک آئی تھنک بائی ناؤ یو گیس شوڈ بی should we have uh, those of you in the in the in in the in the in the early stages of their studies you know how how easy it becomes you know if you look at the yakut all the time you may not be able to learn that much you know if you try to do yourself and then consult the yakut actually if you have a, a mistakes that it become very easy so the so the so the thing becomes uh, very easy but now this this entire jumla in now Let me just draw the line here. We zoom now. Bring it down. Zoom now. Zoom now mean اسموہ خبر ہے اس اس جملہ تا لا محلہ من اعراب it is also again تا لیلیہ 
Okay, we did this before. Okay, so right now let's do the translation and then we see Dr. Yakut is mentioning something about here. Okay, so we will come back. Okay. Bala, we already said yes. Okay, we already took the meaning of yes and explained the answer to Arfoyjabu Lama Bade Nafi. You know, it becomes yes. Okay. Or, or, or in other words, we're telling, definitely, certainly you will return. Certainly you will return. La yarji anna. La yarji anna. Certainly you will return. Inna, indeed. Rabbuhu, his Lord. Who's his Lord? Kana was. Is that his word? The he of him. Basir, all three. Oh, sorry. Let's look at the Basir in my identity for it, okay? I have, I have that thing for you. Okay, <clears throat> the serial. The word is basura. We have it has bab kuroma and bab samia. Both both bab applies in the thing. Okay, if you take bab kuroma, so it should be basura. Okay, and it would be yabsuru. Basara, basura yabsuru. If you take bab samia, it's a basira. Yabsaru Basaran Basaratan Basaran Basaratan. The Masjid are the same for both words. Okay. The only difference is if you Koroma, it becomes Bab Basra. If you become see, Bab Samiya, then become Yabsaru. Yabsaru. Rather, Yabsuru becomes Yabsaru. Okay. Right. Meaning to look, to see, to realize, to comprehend. Look. See, to realize, to comprehend, okay? And Basiran is Ismo Fail Allah Sigatul Mabalaga. So on the weight of Fayilun. I think something went wrong here. Okay, yeah. On the weight of Fayilun. Let me write that. So it becomes Basirun. It becomes basiru, okay? And meaning for that is one who can see. Basiru means one who can see because it's mafail. Once you can see, it's mafail. Al-basiru is an attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means the all-seeing, the all-discerning or comprehending. All-seeing, all-comprehending, all-discerning, okay? So we take the word all seeing. Okay. So now we say, answer to the question, no, indeed his Lord was seeing, was watching over him all the time, thinking or was aware of everything. Okay, he was all seeing what was what 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 he has been doing okay so that's what the meaning is here before we go okay, let's look at the authentic translation we'll look at the dr yakut here okay so we go back to our our translation so i i number uh, 15 copy what's the point something went wrong We do that. Okay. Okay. Clear Quran. Dr. Mustafa Khatab say yes. Balahi to see yes. They would. Yes, they would, because it's the 
affirmation of a negative question. None. Yahuru saying yes. Okay. Yes, they would. Surely their Lord has always been all seeing of them. Surely their Lord all seeing of them. All seeing of him. His Lord is all seeing of him. Okay. So because of the singular word used, but 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 the tafsir translation, because he used the da before, so yes, they would. Okay. So it's a generalized from one person to generalize to all those people who are who were denier of the resurrection. Dr. Mohor Ali say, yes, indeed, verily his Lord is of him all seeing. His Lord is of him all seeing. Iman Torres, sister Iman Torres, no, never. I think she brought no here until I said yes, because she considered the, affirm the negative affirmation sentence, so she, she answering it um, the other way around, okay? So if you are, if you're, if the kafir has to answer, so that's this is what uh, referred to know here. Okay, never for his Lord was always watching over him. For his Lord is always watching over him. Okay, so we said yes, indeed, his Lord was all seeing of him all the time. Okay, all seeing of all the time. Doctor, um, uh, well, I did. Uh, I beg your pardon, I think I did not write this in here. I should have it back here. Dr. Yaku, just give me one minute, please. I think I have it wrong upon something. Uh, yes, just give me one minute, please. So I will do this copy from here. Beg your pardon. Dr. Yakut footnote here on on the Basirat here. Let me just uh, highlight it. Okay. Dr. Yakut is saying, "I kan Allahu Taala behi." Ba'amalahu, let me increase it so you can see that. I wrote down exactly what he wrote here. I can Allah ta'ala bihi ba'amalahu amilma a liman ya yukfi alayhi minha khafiya. Means that we think God, God Almighty is all knowing of his deed. When he said, innahu kana bihi, inna rabbahu. Kana bihi basiran. So his Lord is, o Almighty is all knowing of his deeds, whatever he's doing. Nothing to be hidden upon him from his secret. Nothing to be hidden from him from his secret. So this is what this is what the Tafsiri translation did by Dr. Yakut. So let me give you let me give you a quickly uh, a screenshot for this. And inshallah, I think we'll try we'll try our best to do one more ayah. Uh, I, I have, I think, 10 minutes left or something. We will try, inshallah, okay? So, please take a screenshot. This is the Arabs or grammar. And now, this is the vocabulary or underneath, okay? And a footnote of Dr. Yaqub. Alhamdulillah. Next, Daya, ha ha. I think maybe we should start the afterward, but this is a new section starting from here. Uh, I think maybe it would be better if we do this thing next time, because then there's a custom, a couple of custom coming side by side. And this is a, a job is coming. And letter, Latar ka bunna tabakan an tabak. Okay, so I think we should stop here because uh, because we can easily do one eye here for Luxum Shafak, but I think this uh, this mining wise, I think we should wait till the next week, inshallah. So we do this next class. I will write down here next class.
inshallah next time because today we have a couple of things to explain i i, I hope you like it i have shown you what uh, what the uh, when the word bala is used i will show you i have i have tried to show you what is sadda ba sadda mufudani means zanna you know zanna you know mean okay so and then i also also showed you what zamiro shani is used differently okay so so this is the reason why i took a little bit extra time so i i in my belief these are very important concept inshallah if we repeat it quite often then then we will then all of us alhamdulillah become master master for that and then and 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 then our task alhamdulillah in the end is going to become easier okay so i think from here inshallah we will start the next time just just quickly quickly look at the for sense wise look at the look at the translation here i think we start from here we say as for those one whose record is giving behind their back they will cry for their destruction alak and they will burn in a blazing fire then we then inna hu kana fi ahli masrura from here indeed he had he had been happy among his people in this worldly life okay inna hu zanna an lay yahura indeed he thought that he will never return to allah subhanahu wa taala because he was not believing in the resurrection okay so now allah subhanahu wa taala bala yes indeed his lord was aware of everything what what he was doing what type of amal he was doing and and what type of secret he has having a secret allah subhanahu wa taala knows all the deeds okay so and then next next aya allah subhanahu wa taala took him uh, taking the oath again so i think we stop there so let's do a dua inshallah and then and then we stop uh, for today's session may allah subhanahu wa taala accept our time of our sacrifice of time to study and understand the quranic arabic language as a good deed in our scale of good hasanat may allah subhanahu wa taala bless our spouses and our children with excellent health may allah subhanahu wa taala bless us all in our jobs in our businesses in our careers in the profession and the creation of our children may allah subhanahu wa taala grant us a strong memory and deep knowledge deep knowledge of arabic and understanding and the depth of the message of the quran so that we all feel the miracle of quran in our heart may allah subhanahu wa taala enlighten our home and our families with the light of the quran and instill this light in our children ya rabbal alamin allahumma anta jal quran rabi al kalbina wa nura sadrina rabbana itman lana nuran wa qfil lana innaka ala kulli shay'in qadir مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد اذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمه انك انت الوهاب ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ و برکاتہ سی یو نیکسٹ ویک انشاءاللہ جزاکم اللہ خیر